1988, both Rihanna and global warming panic were in their infancy. Since then, both have piqued the interest of teenagers and scared the hell out of parents. But while Rihanna was still in the crib, Al Gore's favorite scientist, NASA's James Hansen, was in front of Congress, giving testimony that sparked the global warming movement. Hansen laid out three scenarios for what could happen with temperatures in the future. Scenario A, a worst case scenario, where the world completely ignores his fantastic advice and keeps burning fossil fuels. Scenario B, a slightly less apocalyptic version of doom. And scenario C, his best case scenario with the least amount of warming. So how accurate was he? Let's add the actual temperatures and see. As you can tell, there was less warming than even his best case scenario. Hansen was wrong, spectacularly wrong, and he was wrong in the exact way that skeptical scientists said he would be wrong. But there's more to the story. Hansen's best case, scenario C, was only supposed to happen if the entire world listened to him. People had to stop driving their SUVs, buy solar panels, and implement some sort of global version of cap and trade that achieved a drastic reduction in carbon dioxide emissions. Instead, the opposite happened. Emissions drastically increased even faster than Hansen predicted in any of his scenarios. I know all this is sort of mind-numbing, but think about it. If Hansen was right, the temperature should have been higher than his highest prediction. Instead, it was lower than his lowest. He literally could not have been more wrong than he was, yet here we are listening to the exact same person who got it so wrong so long ago. In the future, maybe we'll stop hearing so much of Gore and Hansen and their blabbing, and instead, hopefully see a lot more of Rihanna. Yep, you noticed. Know